As a wind energy operations manager, I oversee the daily operations of wind farms. I am responsible for ensuring staff are maintaining and operating the equipment and that the wind farm is producing energy as expected. The Pi system gives me a quick holistic view of health of all of my wind farms. My day always starts with my wind home dashboard in Pi Vision. With a quick look, I can see the instantaneous and historical generation of the fleet. That, along with the equivalent availability factor and percentage of turbines available, a single glance gives me a snapshot of the entire farm. Also, I can see an overview of my three farms broken out. If there is an issue, I can easily drive into details about any one farm. Seeing that the Black Wolf Wind Farm has the lowest EAF, I will drill down into it. The first thing that I check is the list of underperforming turbines. This dynamically updates with a list of turbines that has production lower than expected. This is easily cross-checked with the turbine summary on the top left that reveals any known causes for turbine outage, such as low or high wind or curtailment. In addition, my asset table on the top right gives me a color coding to highlight any turbines experiencing low wind, such as these two in white, or high wind, which would be blue. Finally, a quick check at the capacity reveals that the impact of these down turbines can, is pretty significant. Now I'll drill down deeper into GE10, which I found on the underperforming list. This screen gives an insight into the current operations of the turbine. I can see at the top that the operating efficiency is lower than I'm expecting. Based on the current wind speed, we've calculated the expected power of the turbine. Right now, the active power of 237 kilowatts is not quite to where the expected power is at 267 kilowatts. Other information on my display might help me determine why. I can see in the top right corner that there's currently an overheat alarm on the turbine. The actual high temperature events are tracked for me in the events table on the bottom. Since several days ago, this turbine has been in alarm. Earlier, I talked to the farm manager about the issue. She's known about it since the alarm first started because she has access to these same displays and actually got a text message alerting her about the issue from Pi Notifications. I would like to investigate a little further to see if this event has affected our overall power production. By right mouse clicking on the most recent event, I can apply the time range to the display and all of the items on the display will line up. I can double click the trend to give myself a better view. Based on the current wind speed, we have calculated the expected power of the turbine. I can open the summary table and deselect a few of the trends, like the instantaneous values and the forecast, to let me look a little bit better at the rolling averages for active and expected power. Looking at these values, I can see that for the most part, they seem to trend along with each other. However, there is this low item at the very beginning of the event, as well as somewhere in the middle, that don't quite track up to what the expected power is predicting. Closing the pop-up trend, I remember that GE09 was also on the underperforming list, so I want to do a quick check of that turbine as well. I can reuse this display for another turbine by selecting it from the drop-down list. I have many assets that are similar, so it's great to not have to rebuild a display for every piece of equipment. Looking at the trend, I can see that there's a few areas where the active power bottomed out as well. Going back to GE10, I know my farm manager could drill down even further by clicking on turbine details, bring her to the turbine schematic. Taking a look at the schematic, we can see all of the detailed information about the turbine, from onboard measurements to asset metadata. 
All of the appropriate information is placed around the schematic in logical locations. Since I know my farm manager has this covered, I can move on to see what the forecast data looks like. My display is set to 12 hours ahead so that all of my trends show forecasted data that are stored as future data in the Pi system. Here I can easily see my day ahead forecasts for the Black Mesa wind farm and how that forecast is compared with the real time values. My organization has access to day ahead and hour ahead wind forecast, so those are stored in separate future data tags. The forecasted power generation is based on the same Pi analysis as the expected power before and the wind speed forecast in the bottom trend. I can also see the power price and some key revenue data giving me helpful information to evaluate how this farm is performing. In just a few short minutes, I have been able to review my entire wind fleet with displays that I built for my needs. By having all of the data available very quickly, I can prioritize my activities for the day based on real information, all leading to me accomplishing my job more efficiently while also ensuring power reliability to our customers.